By the end of this video you'll know how to connect Notion to Google Calendar with the help of Zapier and an alternative method that doesn't require any API integration. Let's get started. First of all, what's an API? An API is a piece of code that enables you to transfer data from one software to another. To find your Notion API, go into your settings and under the integrations tab, click on develop your own integration. Create a new integration, fill out the necessary information and click on submit to get access to your Notion API token. Now that we have our API token, we can go to Zapier and under the My Apps tab, you'll be able to add Notion as a new connection. This is where you enter your Notion API token and select which pages you want to share with Zapier. Then you want to go into Notion and invite Zapier to your Notion workspace. After adding Notion as a connection, you want to do the same with your Google Calendar account. Once your apps are connected, you can head over to the Zaps tab and create a new Zap. The first part of your Zap is the trigger. Select the app you want to transfer data from and then choose the trigger you want to use in your automation. In this case it would be once we've created a new event inside our Google Calendar. Then you want to select your Google Calendar account and which calendar you want to use. And lastly you need to test your trigger by creating a new event inside your Google Calendar. Once your trigger is successful, you can click on continue. The second part is the action. For the action you'll need to set up a Notion database and add all the relevant properties you want to use. After you've set up your database, go to Zapier and select Notion as well as what will happen once the automation is triggered. In this case it would be creating a new database item. Next you want to select your Notion account and the database you want to use in your automation. This will then load both your Notion and Google Calendar properties which you just have to match with each other. For the name property we're going to select summary and for the date property we want both the date and time to show so we're going to select true. For the start date we're going to select event begins and for the end date we're going to select event ends. Once you've set up your trigger and your action you can click on continue and test your zap. It might take a minute or two for your new calendar entry to show up in Notion but once it does you can turn on your zap and that's it. Now that you know how to set up an automation, you can go to the explore tab and see all the different apps you can use in your automations. You might discover an automation that you didn't even know was possible. An alternative to using the API is to connect Notion to Google Calendar with the help of Notion widgets. For this you want to go to indify.co and select the Google Calendar widget. Connect your Google Calendar account, select the calendar you want to use and play around with your widget settings. If you want to access all of the settings, you'll need to upgrade to their pro plan. However, it's not needed in order to use this widget. After you've changed your widget settings, copy the widget link, go to Notion and paste it as an embedded link. This widget works similar to the Zapier automation in the sense that you can't add Google Calendar entries from Notion, but you can use Notion to see what's on your Google Calendar. If this video was useful, I'd really appreciate a like, and if you didn't like this video, press the dislike button twice, just to be sure. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.